What's going on guys, Billy here, and today we got our first firmware update for the DJI Mavic Mini. Released on November 10th, 2019, this version number is 01.00.0200 and is 39 megabytes in size to download. The following patch notes accompany this firmware update, so if you want to read through all of them, go ahead and pause the video really quickly, as now we are going to begin checking out some of the larger changes. So considering this is the first firmware update we come across for the Mavic Mini, what I want to do is go over a quick crash course on how to update the firmware on your drone. DJI makes it really simple when a new update is available. It will prompt you to update right here in the top left corner of the home app of the DJI Fly app. But if you aren't seeing that, then you can manually check for an update by selecting the red text in the top left corner that shows you have an update ready to be installed. Or you can tap on the three dots in the top right corner, head over to the About tab, and then select Check for Updates, which is right next to your firmware version. This is also another way to check what version you're actually on if you want to double check. So look, everything that DJI fixed in this firmware update is great, but there are two points that stood out to me on those patch notes, and I think that the people who have been watching my channel now for the past couple of days can already guess what those are. The first is the optimization to the image quality, and the second is the optimization to the transmission system. Both of these things can make this drone so much more usable than it was when I first took it out of the box. Now, I think the biggest issue that the Mavic Mini is running into is that the photos just look a little bit rough. For the most part, the highlights were blown out. You guys will see some sample images here in a second. And speaking of these sample images, of course, I wanna show you guys before and after the before images on the older firmware and the newer images on the newer firmware but the drone wouldn't let me take off on the older firmware. And what I wanted to do is go and take the same exact photos with the same exact lighting on both the old and the new firmware to show you guys the changes made but the drone wouldn't even let me take off. Now, I went out to some of the same spots to take some photos, and I feel like I actually didn't even need to compare these photos to the older ones because these shots definitely look so much better. For example, this photo of the eagle. If I would have taken it on the older firmware version, then chances are the reflections would have been blown out. You see, on this photo here of Philadelphia taken on that older firmware version, the highlights on the side of the building are sort of blown out, and in this photo of the art museum, the right side loses a lot of information to that bright sunlight. In this photo right here taken on the brand new firmware version, I also noticed that on the art museum there's a little bit of blowing out I guess. There's a little bit of overexposure on the sides of the building but the sun was literally shining directly onto the brick and also I think it was just my fault for accidentally overexposing the image. Now with this firmware update we also get improved video smoothness but I'm not sure what DJI is referring to here. I guess maybe it's the gimbal. But regardless, this shot you guys have been watching right here was taken on that older firmware version, and it looks perfectly smooth to me. Now, jumping over to a video that I took on this new version of the firmware, it also looks smooth, and the colors look great, and the exposure is spot on. So as far as the video is concerned, I don't think we're seeing many improvements, although, hey, if they found a bug on their end with the gimbal, and they fixed it, and they made it more smooth, good then I won't have to deal with it down the road. Now, I know that I kind of buzzed through those examples pretty quickly, so if you wanna go ahead and check out those photos and videos from the older firmware and from the newer firmware, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description so you guys can go ahead and check out the raw photos and videos for yourselves in their fullest resolution, and you can even edit them around if you want to play around with them. Now, overall, I think that the changes made to the image quality are good. It's definitely a step in the right direction, but I think that DJI has a little bit more work to do. You see, people buying this drone right here are gonna wanna shoot photos and then share them right off the SD card, a lot of people. For me, I wanna take advantage of the photos, I wanna edit them, I wanna post them so that they look exactly like what I want them to, but I think that overall they could maybe bump down those highlights just a little bit more, and also I think the saturation needs a boost. Those are the two things I initially do to these images when I'm editing them, and if they can just make those changes within the camera, I think that everybody across the board is gonna be a lot more happy. Now regarding the optimization to the image transmission system, I wanted to go outside and fly this drone on the older firmware, update, and then fly on the newer firmware, but as I told you guys already, it was forcing me to update, so I am gonna put up two examples on the screen side by side. On the left is a flight that I had. It was actually my very first video I posted on the Mavic Mini. It was my first flight video, so that's where that came from. And the one on the right is a flight that I had literally like five minutes ago when I went outside and flew the Mavic Mini. 
that's pretty much down the same exact path over the same body of water here, if you want to call it a body of water. It's the Schuylkill River. And I don't notice that big of a difference. Of course, it's a Wi-Fi transmission system, so you are going to get some interference. But I want to focus really quickly on this brand new transmission system. I'm going to really speed it up here. You'll notice I got this drone out all the way out to 6,000 feet. And I kept going, but after 6,000 feet, it really started to break up. 6,000 feet is over a mile. I was able to fly this little drone, this toy drone, the Mavic Mini, over one mile. That's incredible in itself. So did I see any major changes to the image transmission system? No, but the Wi-Fi transmission system really does hold up. And even here in an urban area where flying down the water, I've got interference coming from either sides, from buildings and from cars. It really did a good job at holding up. As I wrap up this video here, I quickly want to address the first point that was made on that patch note list. It says that it increases takeoff stability. And if you remember in a video I posted about the initial bugs and issues I was having with the Mavic Mini, one of them is that the drone would shake when I took off. And it was my very first flight. And I looked at this drone saying, how am I gonna tell people that this drone doesn't fly well at all? Right now, it's not flying good, it's not stable, it's not staying still. But after I landed it and took off again, everything was fine. So it seems that DJI has worked out that bug. And this whole entire update overall is a really good quality of life update for the Mavic Mini. It seems like they've gone through, they've squashed a lot of the initial bugs. And from here, I'm really looking for DJI to add some shooting modes for us, like the pano shooting modes. Maybe they can also give us like active track and some more intelligent flight modes because I think that that's what this drone needs right now, especially for who it's being targeted at. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this firmware update down in the comment section below. Also, I guess let me know when you guys are getting your Mavic Mini. Today is the day that they start shipping. So did you guys get yours yet? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.